I'd like you to come by my house one day to meet my wife and children. I think you'll get along great. Good afternoon, you must be Martin. That's right. What a charming boy. What kind of music do you listen to? All kinds. Do you want to go out for a walk? It's a nice day. How did his father die? We have to worry about nothing. Car crash. I'd, I'd like to meet your mother. Fire, fire. We can have and a lemonade contest. Burn, She'd like that. Burn, burn. Dad, my legs. I can't move them. I can't stand up. Yeah, I'm really sorry about Bob. You know what I mean. No, I don't. How long has this been going on? How long have you been seeing this boy? About six months. He's got issues, serious psychological issues. He always did. He's been flirting with my mom constantly. I don't know if what is happening is fair, but just the news. The only thing I can think of is close to justice. I don't understand why I should have to pay the price. You do realize, Stephen, we're in this situation because of you. I need to go. You're hurting me. I didn't say anything. There is a way we can put a stop to all this. If anything happens to my kids and my wife, you'll die in prison. You know that! You'll die in prison! Don't you understand that you're wasting time? And you don't have much time left. Dad! Quick, Bob's dying! A surgeon never kills a patient. An anesthesiologist can kill a patient, but a surgeon never can. So if you're gonna dig a hole in the yard, better make it a big one. <laughs> <laughs>